Hi, my name is Lucy and I am lucky enough to live on the beautiful island of Isla Holbox, Mexico. I live here with my husband Max and our two cats, Cash and Lemmy. Today I'm going to give you a sneak peek of our apartment here and a little information on what it's like living on this beautiful island. This is my <laughs> footwear of the day. Right, let's go. Going up the steps to the apartment. Here we go. This is Casa del Lucy. Let's go inside. All right, so from the outside, we come into one of the rooms. So this is basically all one room. We have our kitchen on one side and our living area on the other side. It is very common in Holbox to have these apartments that have just the one room. So basically you will have everything, your bed, your kitchen, your living area is all in one room. And then obviously separately, you will have the bathroom, which has the shower, the toilet, the sink, and so on. In this apartment, we do have the two rooms. So we have the kitchen and living room separate to our bedroom the cats destroyed our other curtain on this side so that's gone have to buy a new one of those my husband is a big gamer so yeah he's got all the consoles here in the corner we've got this like furniture thing that i found on one of the facebook groups here that somebody was selling like a block away so i ran over straight away and bought it and it's been here ever since and to be honest these shelves just accumulate crap ceiling fan in here we've got well we put the slide up ourselves we're like slowly little by little like actually making this into a home and making the changes we've been here nearly three years now in this apartment and only in the past six months have we started to give it a little bit of love and attention underneath the sofa is where we obviously put all of our crap that we can't store anywhere else if i spin you around we have the other half which is the kitchen i thought first though because i'm british we have to make a cup of tea before we get into all the specifics the most important part of the kitchen. I have been obsessed with pickles. I'm pretty sure all my life. I don't know if I was eating pickles like this when I was like a toddler. These things get me through any funk, any sadness, anything. Just grab yourself a pickle and... I mean, life is just so much better. This oven has been a godsend. I just had like a little plug-in oven before and it was really difficult to cook a lot of things. We added these shelves a few weeks ago. So yeah, the place is coming together little by little. We've got this shelf that was put up ages ago. This is hamikas or hibiscus tea or well, this is hibiscus flour. I'm also crazy on cacao at the moment. So I will use like a teaspoon of this, maybe a teaspoon and a half, mix it with hot water and then with some walnut or almond milk, which I make myself as well. My mixture of nuts. So this is a mixture of walnuts and almonds. All of this I buy here. So the cacao was about a hundred pesos. Um, behind it, I have my moringa and spirulina powder, which is also something I put in my smoothies. That was like a hundred pesos. The fridge is probably a mess, correct, but we've got some strawberries, blueberries, um, carrots here, some papaya, there's pineapple, ginger, and if I just open this, we've got some avocados, mangoes, um, grapefruit, beetroot, radish, peppers, loads. So, oh, that's another thing, you'll have to get used to flies, mosquitoes, scorpions, cockroaches, you will find them here. I think I'm gonna make a hibiscus tea now talking about it. So I have this little peach or banja, as I like to call it, here. And it comes with like one of these. So you can fill it with like loose teas or anything like that. I like to fill it with a hibiscus tea. <gasps> it wasn't that difficult. <laughs> oh, that was, my gosh, it smells so good. Excuse my fingers, I'm going in. Add some hot water. And then it goes this magical, beautiful, pinky color. All right, we're gonna take a little walk into the bedroom here. We just redecorated. This is Jenny. Jenny comes with me everywhere, Jenny the giraffe. So this will be my side next to the window. We each have like a little shelf with a uh, reading light over here. This is the disaster of our clothes. Not even folded, <laughs> nothing going on here. Above here, we also put a shelf up recently to put more storage. My view is nothing to write home about. There is a water tank and there is a sky dish, but I can see the sunset around like just above that palm tree <laughs> sometimes. Hi, so this is my little 
area, which is also a mess. I think we've gathered that um, I might be a messy person. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of stuff, oils, creams, perfumes, more oils, sprays, a lot of things to make me try and look younger. I have half of a vision board up here, which I haven't finished yet because I can't find any more magazines, but this is my favorite. You are sunshine in human form. I thought that was super cute. In the corner here, oh my god, I got this for Christmas, how cute. I am such a huge queen fan. I am such a huge queen fan. I love, I love you. Yeah, so Max, my husband, got me that for Christmas this year and I love it. I love it so much, it's so cute. So anyway, yeah, so we have these little shelves here. Um, that's kind of my stuff, my crystals, my... I don't think it's sage, but it's another burning stick. Get rid of that toxic energy, people. And then, like, the stark contrast between my shelf and my husband. So he's horror. Horror, heavy metal, rock. That is him. So he's got some pretty cool stuff. And, yeah, this is pretty much our bedroom part of the apartment. We have pretty much everything that we would need here, more or less. I have also the aircon above the bed which is very necessary especially in the hotter summer months because it gets beyond ridiculous sometimes even aircon does not cool you down enough also if you can't find one of my cats she's usually hi she's usually in this box and then from the bedroom we have the bathroom obviously toilet um we have the shower here we got some pretty good pressure hi so yeah should have really cleaned my mirror before i film this but yeah we've got a little sink and that's about it for the bathroom i would say it's pretty much all you need turn the lights off and go back into the living room here i have like a little switch so that will turn on and off the water tank the water pressure so when that's off we'll just have regular pressure and then just flip it back on again and it will give us like the really strong fast good stuff where you actually feel like you're clean should we go outside hi lemmy there's one of my cats so welcome this is the outside terrace this is the grill if you watch my vlog two weeks ago then you'll see this is the gift that i got my husband for christmas here i've got some little plants basil it's growing real nice got this christmas plants i don't know what you're meant to do with those after christmas i'm just gonna keep mine <laughs> this is a pepper plant that i'm trying to bring back to life and then we've got a little seating area here this is my matcha from this morning that i haven't taken inside i got my tomato plant look at these guys going mm. got some pretty flowers here this area is right we kind of put our shoes trying to keep them on the outside and the cat likes to sleep up here hi angel this is the love of my life along with the other one that's underneath the bed hi sausage so that's pretty much the apartment that is where we live that's where we have been living for the past three years and i know a lot of you guys come to holbox and you fall in love like many people do when you think oh my god could i could i live here i get a lot of questions asking about the rent and the water and the electricity so for this one here we pay eight thousand pesos per month uh the water bill is around about 500 pesos and that's every two months and the electricity bill that comes also every two months is a little bit higher but we pay around about 1500 2000 mexican pesos every two months as well it all depends on how much we've used the aircon how much we've used the water pump or you know all that stuff also please take into consideration what you can bring to the island don't just take from it always try to be sustainable always try to give back always try to look after the island look after its people learn as much as you can about the culture about people try and speak spanish as much as you can what's going on with my hair here yeah i didn't really end the apartment tour that well yesterday i didn't do an outro so i thought i would just film like a few minutes of today because we are rocking and rolling happening yeah we just decided to take some time off today so we stayed in our pajamas now we decided to just have an impromptu barbecue gonna put some burgers on and chill the weather's like really cloudy so it's super nice having myself a little non-alcoholic 0, 0.0 beer hmm. cheers everyone happy sunday here we go Sauce is the last, the last ingredient. We fast forwarded a few hours. I had a shower because 
it was gross. My hair was, I took it out with a ponytail and it just stayed in place. So yeah, that was time for a shower. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it at there. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of inside the apartment, what the apartments look like here, you know. Oh my God, there's a wasp on me. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing a behind the scenes of Mikasa. I will see you next Sunday for another video. Thanks everyone, bye.